Good afternoon. Shock and pure terror. That is what a bus full of middle schoolers experienced in February when their bus was hit by a speeding driver. Today, we are seeing video from the onboard camera as that crash happened and bystanders rushed to help the kids. A warning, the video is hard to watch. One second, kids are talking and laughing. The next... <laughs> They're trying to figure out what just happened. They were left piled on top of each other, unable to get up. The impact so great, kids were thrown from one side of the bus to the other. In slow motion, you can see the moment of impact right in the center of the bus. The bus driver has just a split second to react. The driver and the kids try to get free. Kids rattled and confused, but in the back of the bus, it was a much more serious situation. Kids were trying to help their friends. One girl had a broken pelvis, and the 12 year old boy who seconds earlier was walking down the aisle was thrown so hard he was unable to get up. The bus driver crawls over the seats to help the kids who are trying desperately to get out. Some of them already on the phone with their parents, some of them crawling out the windows, the rest crawling out the emergency door. It wasn't long before bystanders arrived to help. Helping the kids, some of which were bleeding. Slowly, everyone makes their way off the bus with help from strangers who saw the crash. But one boy remains stuck. More people arrive to help. How you doing? All right. So this is what we're gonna do. Now, which leg is, is right there? They okay. don't want to hurt him more by moving him. I know it's kind of pushed it there. You gotta keep it still. You gotta wait for him to put your brakes on it. But they do eventually decide they need to get him out and work together to do so. Amazingly, his broken femur and the girl's broken pelvis were the worst injuries on that bus. Considering how violent this crash was, that was pretty remarkable. Now, the driver of the car that hit the bus, Mario Perez, is facing two counts of great bodily harm by vehicle. The district attorney's office says those charges were filed by the officer, but more charges relating to the other kids could be added once it makes its way through their office and to district court.